Director Pam Yonke is in the radio barn. Hi, Pam. Hi. I did not know that there was an Idaho potato bowl. <laughs> yeah. I learned something from Mr. Food every day. Yeah, we're good. we're planning the Rose Bowl. We're excited yeah, for the that, Rose Bowl. That's right. That's right. I don't know what they're going to throw at uh, <laughs> the Spud Bowl. That could be interesting and dangerous. Uh, let's talk about what's going on in the markets. Could be a little dangerous down there, too. You know, the volume is starting to thin, but the volatility is still there in our commodities. You saw that the Dow Jones Industrial Average is up. Our commodities are trying to rebound after yesterday's beating, too. Let's go to the livestock first around Southern Wisconsin equity sales barns pretty much done for the week. Finished beef steers and heifers a dollar eight to a dollar ten. Topping at a dollar twenty six per pound. That's for the entire animal. Holstein steers ninety eight to a dollar seventeen per pound. Cows up to seventy five cents a pound. The Holstein bull calves one hundred and fifty dollars per animal. Heifers up to one hundred and sixty. And the quality beef calves this week up to two hundred and five dollars per animal. Taking a look at the grain trade on the midday. Like I said, we're trying to struggle back after the beating we took yesterday. One thing that's helping us along is weather. Well, you and I may be just thrilled that there's not a lot of snow on the ground and that it's fairly moderate here uh, in South America, Argentina and Brazil. Their crops are actually moving into the pollination stage and facing temperatures this weekend that could touch out near 100 degrees. That is far from ideal in the pollination stage. So traders are paying attention to that on the midday and they say that's part of the reason why our commodities are holding firm. Dairy on the midday is also trying to rebound after a beating yesterday. January milk currently up six cents. February's up three and the March contract up six. Uh, I'm not sure when the bloodletting is going to stop in our product prices, though. Barrel cheese today down another quarter of a cent at 153 and three quarters. 40 pound block cheese down a penny and three quarters at 157. Double A butter, though, gained back a penny and a quarter, closing at 160 and a quarter. So, like I said, Susie Q, the volatility remains, whether it's Wall Street, Main Street, or our commodities for a Thursday. All right. Very good. Have a good day, my friend. See you later. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Pam. Mm -hmm.